water is crystal clear. I'm Erin and this is Danny and the littlest member of our family river. We are making our way around Australia with our home in tow. Subscribe to follow along and keep up to date with our adventures. So we just turned up in Brussels this afternoon. Pretty muggy, but it's like not much wind, which is pretty good. So we're heading down the beach straight across the road from the caravan park, check it out. Super nice and still this afternoon. Oh, breath of wind, eh? Look how flat the water is. It's barely even a ripple. We were a little bit surprised by like how muggy and hot it was down here because it was actually cooler up in Perth and we're like two hours south of Perth. So I kind of thought it'd be cooler down here, but yeah. Makes it nice to go for a swim though, I guess. The water is crystal clear. Oh, look at the clarity on it. Super nice. I can see a little stingray out there swimming across in front of us. We weren't planning on a swim, but it's so nice, he just can't knock it in. So first up in Brusselton is the Esplanade where we've come to check out the famous Brusselton jetty. So this train track, you can jump on a little train, takes you right at the end of the jetty or way down there. So I think the jetty's like pretty long, I think it's like a kilometre long or something. So it's actually 1.8 kilometres long, not one kilometre. That's very long, you can see the tip way out there. So you can walk all the way out to the jetty, you know, being at 1.8 kilometers long, it's a fair walk. It'll take probably, you know, half an hour or so. But we decided to jump on the train because uh, obviously you've got river with us, so he doesn't really, <laughs> gets a bit over walking those kind of, kind of distances. It's only $16 per person to jump on the train, but infants free. So the jetty was originally used as like a shipping port for like up to 5,000 boats a year, I'm pretty sure. So it's, it's pretty active and then they eventually closed it to operations and then Cyclone came through and destroyed it. So the locals were like, oh we need to keep this going, you know, because the council didn't, well, the government didn't want to rebuild it because it's too expensive. So they all rallied together and raised money and um, got the funds to rebuild the section of it. And then they put a train on and they've had different iterations of trains. The latest one is like fully solar powered which is really cool so they got lithium batteries obviously an electric motor and the solar panels all along the roof and they charge it all, all throughout the day so pretty awesome yeah and the good thing about it like all the money they raise for doing the tours and stuff on here obviously is not for profit so it's just to keep the jetty going just for maintenance because obviously it costs a lot of money to maintain such a big old timber jetty right at the very end they have like a underwater viewing platform thing so you can go in there and you can um walk down to the water and have a look if you're kind of scared to go snorkeling because there is sharks to go through here like don't usually ha haven't really had any any tax recorded, but yeah, it's just to, so people are scared of that sometimes. So. so they've also built this big structure here. It's like a jetty that goes out in big square, comes back in, and outside it has shark nets all the way around, so people can swim out here and not worry about shark.
So as you can see, it's not the most beautiful weather today. Got up this morning, it's a bit overcast. But we're heading down through the Margaret River region now. Go for a drive, check out a few different spots. And we're gonna head up back along the coast. So this is our last day in this area and then we're heading off further south so we're kind of just trying to make a big day of it today. So we're just walking down the street here in our Margaret River trying to find a nice little cafe or something to have a bit of a drink in. It's not very nice weather up there as you can see. A little bit hot, just let it cool down a little bit. What have I got here? Got myself a brownie. First stop, we're coming down to Gracemere Beach. So we just parked right on the beach here. We found this little table down here. We're gonna have some uh, a bit of a lunch. So we're not spending long here, we just stopped in to have our lunch and just really check out this area really. I think it'd be quite nice, you know, when you get the full sun, I think this water would just come out and look really beautiful. <laughs> so we're heading north up the coastline now, towards uh, Natural Spa. It's actually a pretty nice drive along here. It'd be nice if we had beautiful full sun. But there's definitely lots of really nice wine areas around. You can see that. That's for sure. So if you're a big wine drinker, you'd love going through this area. We're not huge wine drinkers, but we probably will stop off and taste one this afternoon somewhere. We're in Margaret River. we got to do yeah. one wine yeah. tasting. <laughs> At some point. All right, so we made it to the Injil Up Natural Spa. I'm gonna go for a bit of a walk down there, check it out. It's very windy today. When we got here at the top of the car park, jumped out of the car, it's like super windy. But down this side of the cliff here, it's not so windy, it's a bit protected. Such beautiful landscape around here though. All these wildflowers and these rock formations make it look so nice. Look how nice is it? Look at all these shrubs and little rocks jutting out different colours. Looks so cool. So this is the uh, natural spa. Quite busy. So this is why they call it a natural spa because what happens basically is all the waves come over that little gap there like this, you see it now. And then they can sit at the bottom there and kind of get, you know, sprinkled over with the water. That's a pretty cool natural feature. So this is the final stop on our tour around today. This is called the Canal Rocks Bridge. Nice little bay over there actually. Nice little boat ramp here to launch your boat out, it's cool. So basically what this area is, is you got like these big rock formations sticking out of the water here. And there's like canals running between them. They've just built like some, you know, walk bridges over the top. I feel like it'd be kind of cool to go snorkeling through this area in like a nice hot sunny day. But what would be nice, looks pretty clear down there. It'd be interesting to see what swims through these canals. You can see all the water just rushing out there. So what it does, it comes in over that little bar type area there. 
and it forces all this water through here quite fast. So I reckon if I did go snorkeling through there, you'd get pushed through pretty quick. <laughs> the water's running fairly quickly through here. You can see hints of the aqua coloured uh, water coming through the few spots here. I think it'll look beautiful this here on fully sunny day. It's amazing what difference it makes when it's full sun compared to overcast and the feel of a place. It ain't about fame. It ain't about fake friends. And screw your ex is such a flake. Forget your grades and need a break. You, it's all about you. No matter what the others say. We're done with our exploring for the day, so we just pulled into a random winery, decided on a flame tree. I think it has decent reviews, so we just hang out here for the afternoon, I think, and try a couple of their wines. Good? Nice. Yeah. Mm. Quite nice, aren't they? Been really good. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. We finished off the wine tasting. They're all pretty good, actually. I liked all the wines, but I'm not really fussy with wines. <laughs> Even though I'm not much of a drinker, I do like most of them. But, um, yeah, so we just got ourselves some of the local cheese and some dip. We're going to hang out the back here for an hour or so and just have a bit of a snack. <laughs> Stand back a bit and try again. Okay, try again. <laughs> Let's try. Keep it still. I'm going to place it further forward. No, no, no. Stand back a bit. I want to hold the pole forward. Tilt the pole. Tilt the pole forward. Ready? Oh, up a bit. <laughs> so good when wineries have a kids area. Thanks for watching guys. We hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy watching our content as it really helps us out.